Hi guys, Jian here. Welcome back to the channel. Sa mga nasa bahay, sana wala kayong sakit at sana kayo ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. At uh, sa mga nagtatrabaho naman, especially sa aming mga health workers, sa ating uh, mga militar at everyone na involved para sa ating survival at para sa ating safety, sana po ay kayo ay nasa mabuti ding kalagayan, mabuhay po kayo. Now, for those of you who are currently watching right now, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel because we're currently giving away something for the month of March. Details of which is in the description down below. Ano ang pag-uusapan natin sa araw na to? We're going to be talking about the Galaxy S20 Ultra. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is finally with us right now at handa na kaming ibigay sa inyo ang aming full review. A written copy of this review is also in our website. You can go and check it out at Gadget Pilipinas. Net. Before anything else, I would like to show you everything inside the retail box of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. What you get are the following things. We have the S20 Ultra, we have the silicon case, a quick start guide, SIM ejector tool, super fast charger, Type-C to Type-C cable, and earphone with a Type-C plug. That's everything you can find inside the box. And then now, let's focus on our review. One of the biggest competitors of the S20 Ultra is the ROG Phone 2. Kung mababasa mo yung review namin during that time nung sinulot namin yun, isa talaga yun sa isa pinakamabilis na telepono na na-review namin. So, it was just apt for us to compare it to the ROG Phone 2. Wala pang ROG Phone 3 pero naisip namin na yun naman lalabas pa by mid-2020 so there is no reason, there's no need for us to compare it to something na hindi pa naman nag exist during that time. Now, one of the biggest things about the S20 Ultra is uh, the chipset. This one is running on an Exynos 990 with a Mali G77 GPU. Ngayon, uh, ibang iba ito kumpara doon sa ating uh, ROG Phone 2 because that one is running on a Snapdragon 855 Plus. One of the biggest differences is RAM configuration. This one is running on LPDDR5 while the ROG Phone 2 only has LPDDR4X. Siyempre, in terms of performance, this one is running on the latest Mali G77 and it's actually one of the new devices released this year with that kind of GPU. Now, in terms of camera, while this is not the focus of this review, we can already say that this one, what we have right here, in terms of camera, is far better compared to the ROG Phone 2. But as I mentioned, we'll have a separate content about the camera performance of the S20 Ultra. Ngayon, unahin natin yung performance. In terms of performance, we subjected the S20 Ultra with synthetic and also real-world performance tests. We use GameBench as our platform to be able to test the smartphone. And then we also downloaded a few games for us to be able to play and see and experience how these games perform at maximum settings. Now, let's take a closer look at all the results of the synthetic benchmark we performed on the smartphone. Apart from Antutu, we also performed the following synthetic benchmarks, 3D Mark, PC Mark, and Geekbench for overall performance, and also Andrew Bench and CPDT in terms of storage benchmark. As you can see in the chart, our overall reading shows impressively high benchmark scores. The same goes for PC Mark, which analyzes work and day-by-day -day activities on the smartphone. At siyempre yung Geekbench, which basically checks on how the phone performs in various stress tests uh, in gaming. Ngayon, meron lang kami napansin about the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Despite the uh, new storage configuration that it has right now, it scored relatively low in terms of Android Bench and CPDT compared to the ROG Phone 2. Tingnan na namin to at ang laki ng difference. And that is kind of really boggling for us because we expected it to perform just as good if not better than the Asus ROG Phone 2. Now we also did a deep dive of the real world performance of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and let's likely compare it with the, the ROG Phone 2. And again is that we downloaded a few games, uh, Black Desert Mobile, we also side loaded Dragon Raha and uh, syempre walang iba kundi ang Call of Duty Mobile. We uh, played these games and these are our findings. For Black Desert Mobile, when I played it, it felt like S20 Ultra outperformed the ROG Phone 2 by a very small margin, counting kaunti lang. Yung nga, napansin namin that the colors are punchier and they look better on the S20 Ultra. Now, just to let you know, the game played really well also on the ROG Phone 2. Um, but it just really felt like 
it performed way better on the S20 Ultra than the ROG Phone 2. Hindi supported the 120 FPS on both devices, but uh, we felt like we were really playing the game at constant 60 frames per second. Now, dumako naman tayo sa Dragon Raha. Again, we side-loaded Dragon Raha via APK Pure, and it is one of the most talked about games lately. Siyempre, console graphics at saka beautiful yung cutscenes niya, it really makes it worthy of the boss is currently making right now. For flagship smartphones like the S20 Ultra and ROG Phone 2, as I mentioned, we had to sideload it. But in terms of performance, I experienced performance hiccups when I played it on the ROG Phone 2. Ibang-iba when I compared it to the S20 Ultra. So, points dito for the S20 Ultra because I never had any lagging or issues. Now, this is probably because we sideloaded it and we did not download it from the Play Store yet. And that is something for us to go and check out once the game becomes available via the Play Store. Next up, we have Call of Duty Mobile. It is much better to play this game on ROG Phone 2 than on S20 Ultra. Yung alam napansin ko, kasi nga, syempre, meron kang haptic feedback at meron kang trigger button sa taas. The phone's added control features plus full 60 frames per second support make the gameplay experience much better. In fact, despite enabling 120 FPS, just like uh, Black Desert Mobile, we did not actually experience playing the game at that level of frames per second. Now, I don't know if it's a game optimization issue, but uh, that is very likely the case. And that's something that we are looking forward to check once uh, a few updates would uh, come out in the future. Meron pala kami nalimutan na idagdag at meron kami nalimutan na sabihin. We also downloaded and played World of Dragonness. We've, we played that game for a while and then naglabas sila ng parang sort of remake of the game. And of course, uh, we downloaded the game and played it on both devices. This open world game is uh, getting a lot of buzz lately. And it's actually very vast and uh, sobra laki ng world. Kaya nga isa to sa mga pinakasulit na free-to-play game in the market right now. Well, you can buy some cosmetics if you want to to boost your character. Pero nevertheless, it's so enjoyable to play especially if you are running on 60 frames per second or above. You can literally go into a lot of places in this game without any sacrifice in loading time. I never actually felt it was loading. One of the good things about this game is that wala siya halos loading time. Uh... I was in this town, I think it's called Prairie Town, and I never actually experienced the game loading on both devices. Uh, especially, as I mentioned, if you're playing this game on a 60 frames per second, sobrang fluid at ang ganda, no? Siyempre, wala 120 frames per second, the feature, but I gotta tell you honestly, guys, it's a tie. In terms of performance on uh, these devices, hindi ko siya na-experience na naglag at uh, I think uh, this game developers did a great job in optimizing this for a lot of smartphones. You know, there's so much to say uh, on this review because this is really more of like the performance review of the smartphone. And we haven't actually even talked about the camera performance yet. Uh, that's something that we will be talking about in the future. But just to let you know, guys, I know that Samsung poured a lot of effort in making this phone really for you because they put everything that you guys want on a smartphone at the 70,000 price point. I know for some of you would say na ang mahal naman yan, mas mura dyan yung bagong Oppo Find X2 uh, Pro, mas mura dyan si Redmi K30 Pro, uh, but at the end of the day, you're getting a Samsung. Now, I can already tell that Samsung poured a lot of things on the S20 Ultra, and if you compare in terms of specifications and power, the performance of the S20 Ultra is far better than the S20 Plus. No questions about that. But then again, the question still remains. Kung kukuha ko ngayon, ano ba kukunin ko? S20 Plus or S20 Ultra? Then your mileage may vary. Depending kung ano ang iyong kailangan. If you need the, the zoom, if you need really better game optimization or game performance, then you go for the Ultra for a 70,000 mark. Uh, but if you, are, if you can settle for something less than that, you don't need the things that the S20 Ultra presents, then you might as well get yourself an S20 Plus. Question now is, kung kukuha ko ngayon, should I wait for the K30 Pro or just stick with the S20 Ultra as my main goal for the year? That's a pretty tough question to ask. Actually, you can buy, oh, I think you can buy two K30 Pros with the price of sa 70,000 na ino offer uh, ng Samsung for the S20 Ultra. But I would throw back the question to you. Would you get a Xiaomi or a Samsung? Again, your mileage may vary. 
Sa mga nanood at uh, nakikinig ngayon, maraming salamat sa inyo sa panood ng review nito. It's a very quick review of the performance of the S20 Ultra. Again, reminder, we are running a giveaway for the month of March. You can go and check it out in the details or description down below. Now, sa again, sa mga nasa bahay, please take care po. No? Sa kayo po sana ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. And please stay indoors no? kung di naman kailangan lumabas. At sa ating mga health workers, militar at anyone involved in uh, this lockdown, mabuhay po kayo. Sana po mag-ingat kayo. And again, this has been Gian. And see you soon on our next video.